Soundcraft SI Compact, um, baby brother to the range running all the way up to the VI6 Studer. So Soundcraft now have a lot of product in this space. This guy, priced under 10,000. Um, what do you reckon that's um, sitting against in the market? Oh, LS9, Yamaha, but this is next generation. As I've said recently, um, a generation in digital audio is now four years. So here we go. Um, James, you've run this unit up. Yep. Uh, what's going on? I can see we've got all of our control. Yeah, it's great. We've got we've got knobs for everything. We've got we've got every channel's got um, adjustable gain, high pass, uh, gate, compressor, four band EQ of which two are full parametric and two are and a delay. Two are yeah. So delay for inputs. Yeah, and delay on inputs mm. and outputs. Okay. What's with these rotary encoders? Okay, these rotaries can do one of three things. You can set them for gain, high pass filter frequency. Or pan, and if you you doing a high pass or something, when you adjust the frequency on the pot, you see it change around the encoder, but you also get a little pop up on the screen that tells you exactly what frequency is, just in case you prefer to mix with your eyes rather than your ears. Mm, and thus far, I've noticed we don't really need to refer to the screen much, which is a good thing because too many sound guys and girls are looking in here all the time while the show grinds on. Mm. Um, as they say, when you're texting on your mobile when you're driving a car, very bad thing to do. Yep. So get out of the screen. Why have we got 16 inputs on the back but only 14 faders? What okay, because 14 faders for the first 14 channels. Yep. Next, last two channels of 16 are on the B page, Right. Uh, followed immediately by four stereo channels, which uh -huh. are defaulted as the returns from the, the four, four lexicon, lexicon, lexicon effects. Which is one, two, three, four, which is yep. there. Okay, that makes total sense. Uh, we've got 16 outputs on the back. So... I'm seeing 14 mix buses. Yep, there's and 14 then, mix buses, four matrixes, um, and your effects buses sending to the lexicon are in addition to that. So you don't have to chew up your buses okay. um, just to send into lexicon. Uh, assigning to a bus, assigning to stereo is really easy. You choose the thing you want to assign, mm -hmm. and then you press the left, right, or mono assign. Same thing, if you want to do it on a mix bus, you choose the bus you want, okay. and you can assign it into stereo. So. You, these mixed buses can work like groups or auxiliaries. There's no VCAs, but on this size of console, I don't, I don't see that okay. as a major And we've got this, this pretty fader glow. So yeah. when we go into graphic EQ mode, we're red. So what have we got here? Low graphic. Yeah, you're on high. We've oh, got high. high and low. High and low. So, and these have a center detent as oh, well, like which that. is really cool. I like cool. that a real lot. And really easy to reset them back yeah. to Unity. Is this low? That's low. The beautiful thing about this console yep. is that you turn it on, you press the reset everything option yep. in the system menu, and then you just use it. Okay. You plug a mic into channel one, yep. phantom power, gain, fader, buses to stereo. So we're dumbed, just, it, we're it dumbed down. So if, if, I'm a little, if I'm a little starter, a novice, or a neophyte, or I bet you didn't know that word, um, that's where I'll start from. How do we go with saving scenes? Okay, scenes? Sa scene recall is really, really super easy. So let's say we want a scene there. Yep. You press store. Okay. That's, so that's, that's scene the number scene one. Store. So how do we dial up scene Okay, two? if we go to Q list, yep. we just oh, okay. use a little rotary here. Beautiful. And push the rotary, and that does the scene recall. Okay, so can I, using this USB, can I lock out? Um, novice users? Yeah, the USB is not really designed for that. What the USB lets you do is it lets you save your show file, which contains all your scenes and your patching and the whole console setup right. pretty much, onto a USB so you can take it away. Ah, okay. So we can have our power users with their own keys with their own scenes and our novices can do what they like with the desk and it's not going to upset us. Yeah, totally. Okay. And now the other really cool thing for the power users Ooh. on the back, yeah, I'm going to turn this around so everyone can see the back. Around the back here we've got a high QNET option port and we've also got a slot where you can stick a MADI card in and what that means is if you've already got um, some other Soundcraft gear like a, a, an SI series or a, um, a VI series with a, with a remote rack you can actually use a remote rack with this for your inputs and you can you can pick off any of your 56 or 64 MADI channels or whatever and patch them to your inputs instead mm. um, and then in that case the gain no longer functions as gain, it functions as a digital trim. So you're not adjusting your, your preamps if you're sharing. Yeah, I, I got all of that after you said, hi, my name's James. Um, what's this? This is a little bit of a stumbling point. Um, it's a BNC connector for a 12 volt lamp. Which yeah, I don't like that. It's the wrong connector, but... You know, well, I guess there's no room on the back. There's, there's not a whole lot of room on the back. Um, 
Uh, that, that's that's one one sort of slight mm. downside. It's not hard to find a BNC lamp. I'm sure Soundcraft make one. Yeah. Um, look, great great ergonomics. Yeah. Look, can it, I get more than sixteen inputs in though? Uh, not on this one. Aside from the stereos, which which but functions what, your returns. What about? Okay, right, I get you. Um, okay. But so yeah, they, they make a the bigger one. one. This is the rack version, but okay. they make them in bigger frames right. as well. Okay. Um, the boot time on this is the other thing that we should mention, just just because it's not outstandingly fast. But what are you talking about? Let's turn it off. Ah, see, this is the other cool thing. Try and turn it off. I can't turn it off. Yeah, it's because you're doing it wrong. Okay, what do I do? Okay, to turn it off, you press and hold until a power button flashes, then you press the power oh, button again. Oh, okay. All right. um, and that's great because it means if someone comes along and even if they lean yeah. on your console power button, you're not going to lose. Okay, your so show. what's our boot time? Let's have a look. Uh, the boot, the it? boot time, it, it's happening. It's, it's going to take a little while, but it'll get there. Okay. When was the last time you rocked up and booted up the console three minutes before the show started anyway? Oh, yeah. Um, it's called. I know it's something you do, but. It's you know, called UPS. Lately. Yeah, yeah. Always Which, use. Look, that's a really great point, actually, for every digital console. Always um, use uninterruptible power supply. And you know what? As far as I know, there, there is one hire company in Australia that, that ships the UPS out with all of their oh, digital I'm consoles. Sure, I'm pretty sure most of them probably would be more, should be, that's, could be. <laughs> more people should be doing it. Yeah. But, all um, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's the Soundcraft SI Compact. Liking it. Love it.